I ain't trying to be funny, but this is one of those fee public service announcements. While little idiots are sitting around doing absolutely fucking nothing all day, asking why are we sitting around talking about them all day, what I'd like to say is, bitch, we do not sit around all motherfucking day. This is what is happening all damn day. You have lost your whole entire mind. Mm -mm. Let me show you. It's shit like this that be happening all day round here. People actually doing shit. Learning stuff. So, while you little monkeys are doing nothing out in the so-called tropics, a.k.a. Mexico. Niggas in Mexico. You can be doing shit like this all day long, nigga boy. I mean, nature boy. <laughs> but no. No. You and your homeboys would rather grow long fingernails and wrestle on the ground. So whenever you want a little bit of this, my nigga, whenever you want a little bit, we'll be right here. We'll be right here. Ready to serve you whenever you feel like it. But let me show you again what constructive shit look like when you're trying to do constructive shit, you know, like this. For those of you who don't know what's going on here, this is push hands. This is the fighting style of Tai Chi Chuan. This is what you get to after you finish the form or this is what you want to learn. But. When you have little motherfuckers on the internet just trying to do what they do that don't know nothing about philosophies or anything of that nature. See, because let, let me show you something right quick. This, this is what we do in our time. Watch this. Watch this. You ready? Because you'll see. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something right quick. See, there. that's the room, right? Only got like our stretching poster up. Can, can we get a little song of the 13 postures, one of you gentlemen, please? Never neglect any of the 13 postures. The source of the wind is in the waist. At all times, pay attention to the slightest change from full to empty. Let the chi flow through the whole body constantly. Stillness embodies motion. Motion, stillness. Seek stillness in motion, and surprising things will happen when you meet your opponent. At all times, pay attention to the waist. And the coccyx is erect. With the abdomen the loose and light, light, the chi can be to, chi can be activated. activated. If the coccyx is erect, the shin rises to the top of the head. The body should be plowed. Hold the head is if suspended from the string. Be alert and seek meaning in the purpose of Tai Chi Chuan. Bent and stretched, opened and closed. Let nature take its course. Beginners are taught by oral teaching. Gradually, one applies oneself more and more. Skill will take care of itself. Enough. They don't need to know it all. Just to let y'all in on some stuff that can be done that I do do all day to let folk in on why they sitting around trying to figure out what Fundy do all day. This, this is what Fundy do all day. Fundy actually does constructive shit all day while I destroy your whole entire theory in about an hour in the morning. <laughs> and not even every morning because it's not even necessary because it's just so stupid. But I'd still like to say while they're doing their repetitions, where was the river? Where was the river birth? Cold or not, it was only 65 goddamn degrees. You can still have a water birth. What happened to the man being the doula? There were so many fucked up shits wrong with that. I don't know what to do. Y'all can say what you want. That shit was a birthing center. You say what the fuck you want. I'm going to have a baby out in goddamn nature. That shit sounded good for clicks. It sounded good for clicks. That shit was clickbait. That nigga is a click whore. 
<laughs> yes. Nature Boy, Captain Underpanties, Tootie Fruity, Fresh and Fruity, Nutty Duty. <laughs> yes. 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 He is insane. He's a click whore. Somebody please tell him I called him a click whore. As a matter of fact, I think that's going to be the new hashtag on his ass. Click whore. Dude, the only thing you can do after this is death or fuck with that baby. Let's see, y'all. He then played with little kids, right? That makes him a pedophile. He let his son play with him. That makes him a pedophile. This man let a dog lick his penis. That makes him a zoophil, a zoophilic. That makes him zoophilic. Um, we already know he beats women. Uh, we know he mistreats children. Now he got another one over there that basically said that um, he molested his 12-year-old and 8-year-old sister or cousin. I try not to listen to shit like that too, too, too closely because it hit way too close to home for me. And then that nigga bust out, well, we start doing shit at 8 and 12 anyway. Eh, stop. Children start to do that at 8 and 12 because little nasty motherfuckers like you at 20 expose them to sex. So let's not start this bullshit. Let's get this shit off the table before it even gets started. You start experimenting at 8 and 12 because somebody introduced you to sex. Because naturally, in a natural world where children aren't exposed to it, you pseudo-psychological pinheads, children naturally start looking at sex. 15, 16, you dumb motherfuckers. That's a whole nother eight years. But you motherfuckers are so pent up on wanting on wanting new shit on wanting to corrupt new shit that before that beep baby even has a chance to form its own identity you are already all up in its sexual nature hey i am pure of heart if you pure of heart leave the motherfucking kids alone if you pure of heart, how about you save some 30 fucking 40 year olds? If you all pure of heart, what the fuck are you doing letting a dog lick your penis and then say the dog liked it? That's not pure of heart. That's not Christ like. You should pay attention to the message, not the messenger. Bullshit. Bullshit. Whatever vessel that message came in is the way that that message is going to be received. You can't put good wine in nasty skins and expect somebody to be able to drink that wine on the back end. No. No. Maybe he forgot that Jesus was an Orthodox Jew, you motherfucker. You have sex with an animal and you're an Orthodox Jew in his day and age, they'll kill you and the fucking animal. Don't start with me. If you came to fulfill the law, you break in the law, motherfucker, because he was talking about Jewish law. And guess what? Homosexuality does not exist in Jewish law. You rape a girl in Jewish law, your whole family gets to be taken out. Bitch. So what law did you come to fulfill? Because you doing this the polluted way. Because the Christ is not supposed to be polluted. He is not supposed to pollute himself. And you started polluting yourself when your mother should have been teaching you the law. But your crackhead ass mama didn't know the law. So 
The only thing I know to come out of polluted vagina is polluted fruit. Why don't you just call yourself the fucking antichrist and let us all get this over with? Because, come on, there's no antichrist. We got plenty of still Christs on the damn planet. As Ashe Divine pointed out, my girl, we got a Filipino Christ. We got a Mexican Christ. Shit, now we got a black Christ. Woo! I thought Elijah was supposed to be our last messenger. Now our, now our messenger, our messenger, this is funny, because this is funny shit. I thought about this last night. Our messenger is telling us that it's okay to rape children. It's okay to rape children. It's okay. Rape as many of them as you like. It's okay to hit women. That's what the messenger came to say, because those are the... We're supposed to follow the behavior of the messenger, yes? So I tell y'all what? If y'all want to follow the behavior of the messenger, I'm, your, I'm the right woman. Come try to beat me. You got the right one, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. And this is what I mean, sisters. Y'all want to stop men like him from using us, please learn self-defense. Because this shit only works when your mind has no defense system, when you don't know who you are, and when you can't protect yourself. Men aren't always around, sisters, and usually when no man is around is when little predators like Eligio Bishop show up, like Africa Bombada. I can go on and on about men that take 18, grown ass men that take 18 year old girls. I go on and on. Oh, they're not that much problems because they don't know anything. They ain't got no experience. But to be righteous with a woman who has experience, shit, that take a beautiful kind of man. But I'd like to say this, further going, the way that the women over there are supposed to not want anybody else but the husband that they're with, although they keep changing husbands, Eligio. So you don't have this problem anymore because y'all playing. I think is I'm still rooting as Musa's baby. I'm just saying. I have to be different. I think it's Musa's. Musa sitting back there rubbing on his rubbing on his penis. We just don't know. But let me tell you how the, uh, the Quran and the Muslims and the Orthodox Jews cleared this up, nature boy, because obviously you didn't read far enough into the story. If she's changing husbands, you got to give her three months off. I know that's hard for you guys because you're oversexed and sometimes even, even that poor little goat and maybe that rooster feel like they're in they, they might be violated and they might be because you know there was a movie where somebody got a chicken stuck up his ass so you know shit happens <laughs> yes i meant to make that pun <laughs> so that poor baby has been born into a world where there are, there's a man that does not mind a child playing with his penis. There are women that have no mind of their own that will allow it to happen because of course that baby is going to have some type of spiritual awakening, sexual awakening. It's a sexual awakening. I know they both start with S, but they're not the same thing. Spirit, sex, not the same That girl don't know who that baby daddy is. 
but they're supposed to be the example for the rest of us. Nigga, you took Babylon with you. I swear to God. You know, Babylon, I keep telling you motherfuckers, Babylon no longer fucking exists. It's a call phrase. It's a catch word. It, it's, it's a pit. Oh yeah, we're in Babylon. Nigga, Babylon was in the Middle East. We're in America. This is a horse of a whole nother fucking color. Can we get another? I hate, sometimes I hate that people, people just take Bob Marley shit and run with it. Sit your monkey ass now. You know Bob Marley daddy was white, right? I'm just saying. If we were both go by daddies, Bob Marley would be a white man. I just thought I'd throw a monkey wrench in everybody's goddamn morning. <laughs> <laughs> y'all keep an eye on this baby that girl looks emaciated that baby look like it might weigh six pounds at best I know why she didn't have a problem I don't believe she didn't have a problem delivering that shit cause that story was all over the motherfucking place you know first it only took two hours to deliver the baby but she was in labor all day thinking it was Braxton Hicks bitch sit your goddamn ass down anybody that's then had a baby know that shit is an ordeal ain't nobody hearing that shit go on somewhere that story was so fucking kooky. Cause I say again, what? Where's the footage? They were supposed to do this, that, and the other. They went to a midwife. What happened to Nature Boy being the motherfucking midwife? I mean, nigga, you can take the you can take the nigga out the hood, but you cannot take the hood out the nigga. He took the hood straight the fucking nature. Why in nature do you need that many motherfucking speakers? I'm just wondering. Doesn't nature make its own goddamn songs and shit that you should be listening to to let you know how the weather is going to be, um, what the next season is going to be? Because even I know if you pay attention to the way that ants make their mounds, you can know if it's going to be a hard winter or really, really, really hot summer. But I know that these things are lost on motherfuckers that have that have studios in the in fucking nature. How you get a studio in nature? How you are there plugs in nature that you there are plugs in the trees that you can just hijack 120 volts from anytime you feel like it? That that oh. They don't even hide in the fucking tents no more. They don't even hide in the tent no more. They be all up in the bed in the rocking chair and shit with rock walls behind them. You know, kind of like my auntie's house in Babylon. If that's the case, I've been in nature all my motherfucking life. All my life. But then I thought I was too. Because check this out. Look. Nature. Right outside my window. Who knew? Right? I got plants around this motherfucker. I live in nature. Shit, I create nature. I am mother nature. Bitches. <laughs> Eligio, you're an asshole. You're not only an asshole, you're, you're wrong. You're wrong on so much shit, it ain't even funny. You put the goddamn placenta in a plastic bag. These, with 10 motherfuckers over there, it wasn't one of you motherfuckers that thought, ooh, maybe, maybe, it wouldn't be a good idea to put the goddamn placenta in a plastic bag. Where's plastic in nature? Please, somebody let me know how you find a plastic bag in nature. I'm just asking. They, they they had nine months to weave a motherfucking basket out in motherfucking nature for that goddamn placenta. These motherfuckers went and got an Easter basket. They had an Easter basket. And it was with a plastic bag inside. Come on, man. That's how you know you got a whole bunch of retards all in one motherfucking place calling King Retard God. <laughs> 
God didn't think that you can't put it in a plastic bag. Where was the salt? I'm telling y'all, that, that placenta smells like pure hell. Shit, he had to catch himself on camera talking about how it smelled. That's kind of like he had to catch himself on camera the day he put his hand over EJ's punani. And just by reflex, he pulled his hand back, smelled that shit, and he was like, mm. That <laughs> was like, damn. <laughs> he just said all out in nature that his girl's punani stank. Like in front of everybody on the internet. And that shit can be played over and over and over and over again. <laughs> they better hurry up and eat it. Cause they gonna be having some real rancid that they better they better make that shit into a stew. <laughs> Should have put some onions and some potatoes around it you know some preservative a little vinegar maybe they should have put a little vinegar on it y'all know y'all know people that marinate shit need a little vinegar on that little thousand island dressing to sit it in you know some of them little 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 plumento bits that's gonna be some nasty shit <laughs> they gonna be chewing that shit for days Cause y'all know they can't cook. <laughs> they can't cook. Eating a placenta is going to be clickbait, y'all. It's clickbait. It is fucking clickbait, and you can't tell me otherwise. But I, I say again, there is a baby that has been born into a group of known, admitted pedophiles. I wish I had a joke for that, but I don't. And and whose karma is this baby? <laughs> Cause I'm still rooting for Musa. I don't give a fuck what y'all say. That's Musa baby. That's Musa baby. Musa won that. But I'm gonna say it again. That baby has been born into a world of known pedophiles and child abusers because one, the baby wouldn't be quiet and it's his baby. He put the baby's face in the fucking pillow because the baby wouldn't be quiet. That's the quickest way to suffocate a child. So he went to that length to punish his own child and this baby has been born into that. I have to wonder, shit, if you reincarnated into that, what the fuck did you do in this life, man? Shit. I don't know, man. Maybe he's re maybe that is Alistair Crawley reincarnated. Because that could be the only reason I could think that the Almighty would send your ass to a group of fucking pedophiles and mothers that have the same minds as the pedophiles. Because none of them have their own minds. They are seeking the kingdom of heaven. This is heaven's gate, man. The, the children of God. There was a whole fucking cult called the children of God. Some of these kids are still fucking living. The girls say that their sexual exploitations started at six. At six. And this is a boy. Born a boy, born into a group of males who are mostly bisexual, if not fully gay. And a group of women who don't give a fuck about bisexuality or molestation. I'm telling you, man, this baby had to be a serial killer or some shit. This baby is like the reincarnation of Jack the Ripper or something. This baby gonna have a hard, hard way. And that baby about to take the goddamn spotlight off of him. Oh, he ain't gonna like that. Narcissists don't like that shit. 
I hope that baby don't cry a lot. Because I don't know what's going to happen. And they about to have babies back to back to back to back to back. Y'all go watch. Not Heaven's Gate because he they, they willfully castrated themselves chemically. Oh, and French tips. The next time you say you castrated yourself, nigga, please. Nigga, please. You don't castrate yourself. You ain't got the heart for it. You you rape eight-year-olds. You ain't got the fucking heart for it, man. You put your little fucking fingers on a child. You ain't got the heart to castrate yourself. Nope. Use another word. How about you severely chafed yourself because you're a chronic masturbator? Say that. Because you ain't Aztec, nigga. You, you ain't got the heart to be bleeding yourself like that. To cut off your own foreskin, nigga, shut the fuck up. Don't nobody believe your dumb shit. But that's why I wanted to get this in right quick so motherfuckers understood what I do to let you in on a fact. Because, see, they can be practicing down here and I'm up there banging on your ass because I can. Like, I'm standing here training with them, banging on your ass. Because I can. <laughs> Everybody in Babylon <laughs> don't have a job, nigga. Some of us have careers and professions and we have skills that we trade. Meaning I own my own and have. For years. I ain't worked nowhere for nobody for years. Years. So much so that I don't even understand how to fill out an application anymore. They're like, applications are online. I'm like, what? For real? Damn, y'all just stepped that shit up. Cool. Use big frame. Big frame. Big friend. Check his feet. Because his feet are not like your feet. He's off to the side. You're back to back. So choose what you're going to get. Are you going to take a fighting stance? Or are you going to take your horse stance? There we go. What happens when, the ba when babies cry a lot? Narcissists usually don't like that shit. Because it fucks with their time. Um... In one cult, when babies cried a lot and it was cold, they would take the babies and sit them outside in the cold until they stopped crying. There are penalties. And Eligio doesn't strike me as the type that gives the child the leave way. What I mean by that, if you will have sex with a woman while your child is breastfeeding... You don't have, you don't give, that child doesn't have its own time. That's what it tells me. I'm not going to lie. My husband never bothered me when I was breastfeeding my children. I'd see him sitting in the, sitting in the doorway watching. He'd come sit by me. He'd cool. He'd touch my hair. We'd hold conversations, real soft, quiet conversations, but never, ever did my husband like, ooh, let's have sex. Aren't I doing the fuck enough, man? Doesn't a baby get its lap time without your narcissistic behind? You are not the center of the fucking universe. I am. I am the center of the universe. <laughs> oh, aren't I a wonderful projection of you? 
Because every time I think about your being a pro- you being a projection of me, Eligio, I think about that demon that I've had to lock down in my own mind because of my experiences. Yeah, little nigga, I could be just like you, but I'm your exact opposite. I know where you coming from and I know where you going and it's ugly and you're not going to stop. He ain't going to stop y'all. I wouldn't. Anybody with that kind of power that has tasted that type of power with a Taurus Zodiac sign and a Leo moon, he ain't going to let it go. He's not going to let it go until it blows up in his fucking face because the nigga don't know how to stop. I've worked all my life teaching myself how to stop, when to stop, when enough is enough. That's not his discipline. His discipline is anything and everything goes for as long as it possibly can. Shit, he hiding from something. He hiding from himself. Shit, he know he ain't right. He know he ain't three good lefts either. Shit. <laughs> he knows how the populace feels about him. But at this point, it, he's addicted to the attention. He can't let it go. He won't let it go. Because he needs to be something. Anything. Any attention is enough attention, even if it's bad. He's that kind of fucked up kid, man. That nigga ain't grew up. His feelings are still soft. You hurt my feelings. <laughs> uh. When's have any of y'all ever heard me say that shit? Hell no. Hell no. You ain't my feelings. I ain't got no feelings for you to fucking hurt. Try. My feelings move the fuck around. <laughs> Good try, though. That nigga still fly weight in the draws. Dealing with fly weights in the draws. He is the king of the mental midgets, and y'all know this. How you feel? He is the king of the mental midgets. Check this out. These motherfuckers believe in birth charts so much, they took that baby's birth date and put it in their phone to get a app to do it for them. You mean you motherfuckers don't do nothing all motherfucking day long and you can't... You can't chart a fucking natal chart? You can't just go outside and read the fucking sky? Nigga, please! That shit leads to the telescope out there, man. <laughs> you in Aztec land, bitch! Ask one of the natives. They probably look straight up and be like, oh, this baby is Ted Bundy reincarnated. <laughs> 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 I'm just saying. Y'all gotta watch these motherfuckers. See, let me show you again what we do all day. This is this is the shit we do all day. This is what we do. We be practicing this shit. Yeah. I know it don't seem like much to the average person, but you know, at least we're doing something constructive. Notice they're not rolling around on the ground hollering, man, don't touch my nuts. Stop. <laughs> Will there be any nut touching around here? No nut touching. Y'all going to get on the floor and roll around with each other? No. We don't. Unless, we're doing power press. Unless we're doing power presses. And that's only one motherfucker on the floor. <laughs> Big circles. No, you're doing this mechanic. It's a circle. It's a do the move. 
Okay, y'all, I got to get in on this. Excuse me. I hope y'all love this. You know who this is? This is Fundy Fee. And I always, always got my ear to the street. My ear to the street. My ear to the street. Love y'all. Big ups to everybody that's got their foot on this nigga's neck. There's a lot of people that have joined. Y'all have to forgive me for not knowing your name. But I did see Moan. Moan Tumadachi. One of the first people to bang on this brother. I ain't even going to say that I came in in the middle. I think I came in on really the tail end of this. But I give it up to everybody that came before me. Moan Tumadachi. Ashe Devine. Uh, ed, uh, editor, commander in chief, the edit god, um, crystal vibrations, um, Meshack Black, uh, and the Carbonation Chronicles. Um, I think her name is Nisi. Uh, young Pharaoh then got in on this. Uh, thank y'all. Thank y'all for helping out the soldiers that came before us that's been banging. On this brother. I'd like to give big ups to Ashe and Moan. Because that's how I get got in on this fight. Y'all. More people need to get up. Say something about this brother. Because it. It can't get. It's getting worse. And not better. And there are only a few other things. That he can do worse. Than letting a dog lick his dingling. Love y'all. A gay stripper. That likes transsexuals. That thinks dogs really like licking his penis. We have a problem in our community. That is a cancer. And it is multiplying. Notice the cancer. Is multiplying. So we're not in an alkaline state. As far as I'm concerned in the black community. And this motherfucker is the litmus test. Love y'all. And it ain't just him. Uh, Africa Bombada, this other dude, uh, I forget his name, but Poppy or Pappy or Peppy, I think his name is Poppy or something. But man, if these are the leaders in the conscious community, we got problems. Love y'all. Peace and blessings. Putting this up on um, YouTube right now. Salam Shalom in Hutepu. And please go visit www.masterfundifee.com for all of your spiritual needs. Love you.